Did you just get that new 10 gigabit internet plan and a brand new Wi-Fi 6E or Wi-Fi 7 router only to realize it comes with just one 10 gigabit LAN port? Wish you had more? Well, if that's you, stay tuned because I have a solution for you that is smaller than the router and won't break the bank. Hi, I'm Tim and welcome to another episode of Did You Know, where I review the latest gadgets and all things tech. In this video, I will check out the USW Flex XG, Unify's 10 gigabit layer 2 switch, with not one, not two, not three, but four, let's write, four 10 gig ethernet ports an additional 1 gig port that supports PoE in. Now, full disclosure, Unify sent me this unit to test and review. However, this is not a paid review and Unify does not control my content nor comments. Now, with that out of the way, let's unbox the Flex XG and see what's inside. The Unify Flex XG comes with the 10 gigabit switch, a mounting template with water level to help you with marking the spots to pre-drill, the mounting bracket that attaches to the back of the Flex XG, the power adapter, and the adapter power cable shown here with a UK plug, mounting hole plugs and screws, and a quick start guide. At the back of the Flex XG, you find two mounting slots where the mounting bracket will connect to. The bracket comes with four screw holes and the two vertical inserts connect securely to the back of the switch. For power options, Unify gives you flexibility. What do I mean? Well, life's about choices and here, Unify lets you choose how to power the Flex XG from a PoE Plus source, like a PoE Plus switch or injector some distance away, which may be ideal if you need to place the Flex XG in a location which has no power supply that's readily available. Alternatively, if you don't have a PoE Plus capable switch or a PoE Plus injector, the Flex XG can also be powered by using the included Type-C power cable and adapter. To start using the Flex XG, just follow these simple steps. Step 1. Connect power to the switch using either PoE Plus or the Type-C cable and power adapter. In this demo, I will use the included cable and adapter. Step 2. Turn on the power. During the boot up sequence, the power LED begins to blink in white, indicating it is going through the startup process. You will also notice that all port LEDs will light up for just a moment in sequence before going off. Once the power LED has stopped blinking and is a stable white, your device is now ready to be adopted in the Unify controller. Step 3. Next, we connect a CAT6 Ethernet cable to any port from 2 to 5, making sure that the other end of the cable is connected to the Unify controller or a switch in the Unify controller network, and adopt the Flex XG to the Unify controller. Unify makes adding and managing devices a breeze with its mobile app. So to start, just open the Unify network app, log in, and immediately Unify has detected that the Flex XG is new and is ready to be adopted. Adopting the Flex XG means it will be added to your list of devices in the controller and can be managed from the easy to use app. Step 4. Once the switch has been adopted, Unify's clever system checks for new updates and will automatically install it and reboot the Flex XG. This ensures that the latest firmware is installed, 
so that you never miss out on any new features that may have been added since the product was shipped. How awesome is that? A few moments later, the switch appears as a device in your app and you can make quick changes or toggles to it on the fly. For more granular control, I highly recommend you access the Unify controller from a full desktop browser as Unify has a ton of features and it would be virtually impossible to cramp all of that into the app without overcomplicating the user interface. So, in short, use the PC or Mac on the browser. I've had that Flex XG in my network for a little over a month now and I've been testing it through Microsoft Teams video calls with over 70 participants, live screen and PowerPoint streaming all whilst in another room, family was streaming 4K movies on Netflix and FPS gaming all at the same time. And let me tell you, it is nothing short of spectacular. Response is crisp, the loading of web pages is instantaneous, and those stuttering video and audio calls? Gone! I did a bandwidth test just to see how fast the Flex XG actually was, and this was the result. Using iPerf 3 over a duration of 60 seconds, a total of 68.8 gigabytes was transferred from PC to PC with a total network speed of 9.85 gigabits per second. Well, let this sink in, folks. That's about as close to paper specs for a 10 gig switch as I've ever been from a small form factor switch. All that sounds great, but what does it mean? Well, to best describe the experience in moving from 1 gig to 10, it felt as if I'd been living in the Stone Age all this while and just discovered fire, the World Wide Web, and space travel all at the same time. Don't get me wrong though, 1 gig is fast and in some countries, it is still the gold standard. But with the Unify Flex XG and a 10 gig connection, it just blows 1 gig out of the water. Copying a 10 gigabyte file across the network was so fast it appeared in the remote folder in just under 12 seconds. And mind you, that included selecting the file, hitting Ctrl C, selecting the target folder, hitting Ctrl V copy, and paste commands. The Flex XG is compact. To show you this, here's a comparison of the Flex XG versus the previous Unify Security Gateway or USG. It's also passively cooled and has the added benefit of silent operation. It's able to achieve all this thanks to the heatsink fins integrated into the device's shell which works exceptionally well. Throughout testing and in continuous use, the Flex XG remained only mildly warm to the touch, nowhere near the heat generators of the SFP Plus RJ45 modules. So in summary, the Flex XG is a great addition for any home and small business that will benefit from 10 gig Ethernet, such as accessing NAS stations for photo and movie editing, butter smooth online video editing and streaming, hyper fast file transfers, and lag free gaming. With a reasonable price point, fast free installation, and simple setup and management, I highly recommend everyone who already has or is thinking of getting a 10 gig internet connection to get one immediately. Even if you don't have a 10G capable network card yet and you're still maxed at 2.5 gig, I'd still recommend this as the Flex XG supports everything from 100 megabits to 1 gig, 2.5, 5 to 10 gig ethernet, making the Flex XG the most, well, flexible layer 2 4 port 10 gig switch in the market today. Now, that's a flex. And with that, we conclude this episode of Did You Know? I'm Tim. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.